Hello ladies and gents, Rogue here, and welcome to Knowing World Films. Today we're going to continue our Apple Weekly News. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the Apple website actually here. And I wanted to show you guys here the Apple AirPods as soon as you click on them and this awesome animation takes place. But uh, if you personally already own a pair of Apple AirPods and I'm curious to see how they are, if you enjoyed them, if you lost one, or just, just let me know any feedback regarding the Apple AirPods. Even if you don't have them, go ahead and just let me know what you think about them. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the first article of the week. If you haven't known already, but iOS 10.2 is released on your iPhone, iPad, and uh, iPod Touch. Go ahead and get it right now. It's uh, highly recommended. Um, you, you might have iOS 10.2.1, which is an uh, update to this version as well, but it, it is available. Uh, you can go to your iPhone, your settings, uh, go scroll down to your general, and then the software update tab right there, and you'll be able to update to the latest version. And uh, highly recommend that you do it over Wi-Fi. Moving on, I do have several articles here regarding the iPhone 8 news. And uh, the first one here uh, by mobile and apps, it states that the iPhone 8, uh, Apple is testing over 10 prototypes of the iPhone model, which is, it's kind of crazy to hear. And uh, I, I, I truthfully believe it because I, Apple does go through several uh, tests and prototypes. And now I just wanted to cover some of the brief uh, or some of the official features that we know regarding the iPhone 8 thus far and uh, what, have, what has been rumored as well. For example, like the glass for wireless charging. Uh, glass built around the stainless steel frame. According to the latest articles, uh, it is said that the iPhone 8 is supposed to be like the crown jewel of Apple. It's uh, this, this year is supposed to be huge, and uh, I'm personally hoping that this year is huge for the iPhone. Last year was kind of a disappointment with the iPhone 7. iPhone 8, I'm, I'm really hoping it is something like to blow our minds off. Uh, and within our next article uh, by iDrop News here, it uh, talks about an edge-to-edge -edge iPhone 8 dis design. Here's a concept art or concept design of the iPhone 8 here. If you take a look, you'll notice this. Uh, I personally don't know, do not know if I like this or not because it looks like there's no home button and uh, it looks like they've completely got rid of like the top where you would put your ear to to listen it it just looks way different and i really hope they don't go with this personal design like i said this is only just a concept here this article also which i'll have in the description for you guys uh, also goes on to talk about the lcd equipped 4.7 and 5.5 inch iphone variants also they might even include an OLED, OLED display on a new iPhone version, which would be a 5.2 inch model, which would be a new um, new one that we actually haven't seen before. Now, I have talked about the edge to edge display uh, design on the iPhone 7, which actually didn't happen. And uh, that's why it is more than likely going to be pushed to the iPhone 8. And several of these features that I talked about for the iPhone 7 that I thought were going to come up on the iPhone 7 actually all got pushed back to the iPhone 8. And that's why I want I'll consider the iPhone 8 to be one of the most advanced pieces of technology that Apple will probably release this year. Um, furthermore, the wireless charging, um, which we were supposed to also see on the iPhone 7, didn't happen. iPhone 8 is going to take it over and it's probably going to completely dominate it because now they've had over... I believe over three years to develop the wireless charging and to actually test it so they're probably gonna make it now I am really excited for the iPhone 8 wireless charging feature because uh, being able to just to set down your iPhone or just place it somewhere somewhere nearby by your bed by your couch by your you know just on your dresser and uh, just have it wirelessly charge on a pad or maybe a some sort of a Matt. Now there are additional things that I'm curious about the iPhone 8's wireless charging feature and that would be basically how the mat or the pad, the charging mat, the, the pad, mat charging pad would look like or how it would be like used exactly uh, if uh, you have to keep it within a certain amount of distance of the iPhone or you just have to set it on it. Then uh, also if the iPhone 8 is even going to be included with the lightning port, you know, did, if is it going to need that if it has wireless charging built in? Cause and <laughs> cause now you can uh, you could basically sync you could listen to music you could all do that wirelessly and uh, I personally don't think they should get rid of the lightning ports because it's always good to have a connection or a backup way to connect to things through your iPhone and uh, I almost almost highly doubt it, doubt that they will get rid of the lightning port. Moving on to our final article here, as I mentioned, the uh, edge to edge uh, display which may be included within the iPhone 8 or one of the 
uh, models that is available to purchase. We may also see a change in the display for the iPhone 8, uh, switching from the LCD to the OLED. And uh, this article here states that the OLED display can provide more highly saturated colors, deeper blacks, and higher power efficiency compared to their LCD counterparts. Uh, um, last but not least, I do have an app here. It's called Mountain Hub. Be sure to check it out. It basically, if you're a hiker or you go out in mountains or you go uh, go on trips or rock climbing, I highly recommend this app. It gives you s basics uh, or like easy summarized uh, information. Uh, keep up to date with what's happening around you in real time. Contribute a wide uh, range of important outdoor information for any activity. Share conditions, trip reports, and safety observations with the outdoor community. It's a <laughs> really cool uh, here. It gives you s several statistics. Like it gives you a map overview, shows you on the map, uh, gives you some of the statistics regarding like specific trails and uh, s things that you might see on those trails as well. Um, uh, but I'll have a link in the description for that. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys for watching this video. Catch you guys next video and later. So let my